Tana has officially been revealed. Let's take a look at a cutscene and then talk about some of the new information that we learned from PlayStation Underground. Let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Gaia here, and back with a brand new Crash Bandicoot 4 video. PlayStation Underground had a full sit-down interview with the developers from Toys for Bob to talk about Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, and one of the major things that they revealed was Tana gameplay. Now, if you love Crash Bandicoot 4, make sure to subscribe, as I will cover all things Crash, Spyro, and many other nostalgic games from the past. Without further ado, let's take a look at a cinematic, and then some gameplay. Thank you so much. Wait, Tana? But you're different. You're not from our universe. It's good to see you guys. It's been a long time for me. Oh, we lost touch in your universe too, huh? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> what, did we, like, die or something? What? No! Nope. No, but no, definitely not. So how are things in your dimension? <clears throat> the usual. A bunch of evil scientists attempting interdimensional domination. Huh. So, uh, what you collecting? Crystals? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Gems? Masks. Ooh, fun. Well, good luck with that. <gasps> Wait, you're not coming? Sorry, I fly solo. But I'll, I'll lend a hand where I can. In fact, I already have. Every time I see this game, I get just even more hyped. Is it possible to be more hyped than I was before? Well, apparently because I'm already there. Now, let's get to the breakdown of what the developers had said. This is not the Tana from our regular dimension, but from a completely different one. In this dimension, Tana had to become the hero because something had happened to Crash and Coco and her dimension. What that something is, we don't know, but it doesn't sound good. Because of Crash and Coco being gone, Tana had to become the hero herself. Tana's gameplay is quite different from the likes of Crash and Coco and Cortex and Dingo Dial. She has a grapple hook that allows her to swing around and hit boxes from afar. She can also hit enemies with the actual hook shot to stun them before karate kicking them away. She also can use the hook shot to hit boxes at a far distance. Now her purpose in this game is that she will work just like the Cortex levels with the alternative timelines, where you play as Tana up to an intervening point for Crash and Coco. While Cortex has tried to destroy Crash and Coco, Tana is seen more as a guardian angel and will help them out on their adventures. Tana, along with Cortex and Dingo Dial, will have an introductory level to explain how she controls and how she works. Once you complete that level, she will default back to the timeline levels. Tana also has the ability to wall jump by jumping from these specific walls to others. The whole shtick of Tana is to be a quick dashing adventurer that combos hook shots and wall jumps to zip through the level at rapid speed. It's also been confirmed that this is the last additional playable character. So we got Cortex, we got Dingo Dial, and we got Tana along with Crash and Coco. Before I leave, I got one more really awesome announcement. Remember that early press demo I had access to a few weeks back? Well, guess what? If you pre-order the game digitally, you too can experience these levels. On September 16th, 2020, you can get access to the same demo I got to play, so you too can experience the game before it comes out. There is so much to break down with this footage, this is just skimming the surface, and I'm going to be going through all of it with a fine tooth comb, so make sure to be subscribed for that video as I will be doing a full breakdown gameplay wise, along with any other minor details that I missed. Thank you so much to all those who not only support the channel, but myself and my family. Because of your contributions, I'm able to do this full time. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider clicking the join button or becoming a Patreon with the link in the description. I also live stream every Thursday and Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on by and say hi. Again, thank you to everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video and or live stream.